And we are back with more SpongeBob. Battle for Bikini Bottom, rehydrated. I need to get the last spatula here. I know where it is because I saw it from the sandcastle the other day. You know exactly where this is. Bounce. There it is. I mean, cheaper way, I probably just could have jumped here from the castle. That's all. Let's actually, let's go here. And then hopefully it'll make a SpongeBob again. We'll swap back. I'll give Patrick all of his socks. Buy more drugs for Mr. Krabs. I mean, you know, spatulas. I mean, hopefully we've done everything we can at Goo Lagoon. It's time to move on. SpongeBob, you found some! Now they're back home, safe where they belong! Here's your golden back scratcher! Spatula! I don't speak Italian. And that's 30. Don't forget! It shines! I love opening presents. Big old giant flower clouds. Well, I want to go visit Sandy's tree and then go to the Poseidon. Or the Mermelayer. Oh, okay. I have brought you to here to face a great challenge. I've got nerves of steel and muscles of sand. And eyes of jelly. My Poseidon has been breached by a mighty foe whom you must vanquish. Bring it on, your highness! Bring it on! In this corner, defending the Poseidon, a small square guy! <laughs> and his challenger! A huge murderous robot shaped like a squirrel! Look, it's a giraffe! Uh, I think I need to get home to feed Gary. Barrier Reef! Crap. SpongeBob has an opening, but will he get the drop on the robot? Now the robot's taking a beating out there. Oh shit. The robot better change tactics and fast. I want to play, I want to play. Wait, what? Bling! The old clothesline move! Looks like Patrick has a big opportunity here! What a shocking takedown by Patrick! Let's go, bitch! You ain't gonna do nothing. Dirty Dan. The robot's losing its head. Woo, up we go. Oh, nice flying, uh, head 
Interrupting move by Patrick! Looks like Patrick has a big opportunity here! Wow! I've never seen such an electrifying oh, match! Your turn, SpongeBob! Oh? Ah. Uh. Great. <laughs> Spring! The old clothesline move! Fresh like a spring breeze! Come on, asshole, let's go! That's a bubble bash opportunity if ever I've seen one! Oh, what an uppercut! Later, Gators! Ouch! I feel like a new sponge! I bet you do. Nice move by SpongeBob! This match is just about over. I bet it is, talking news fish head, I bet it is. like a spring breeze and she is out of here oh it didn't do it what it didn't do it it didn't do it why didn't you do it forsooth you have betrayed me oh crap <laughs> really? I feel like this a game spot. fucked up so hard. That robot is down and staying down. What an upset here at the Poseidon. <laughs> well, that was quite a battle. Tell him what he's won, Johnny. It's a new power, the Bubble Bowl. But wait, there's more. A golden spatula, and that's not all. A gift certificate for $5.32 to Dean's Little Shop of Dried Fish Flakes and Flowers. Oh, thank you. It all means so much. I... I... I promised myself I wouldn't cry. Cry all you want, but not here. We just wax the floors. Hey, Plankton. Yes, what is it? I was just wondering why all the robots seem to be coming from inside the chum bucket. Have they? I really haven't noticed. Uh, yeah. And then there's that big flashing neon sign that says, Robot Headquarters. SpongeBob, I'm your friend, right? No, not really. Exactly, and as your non-friend, I worry about you. Like right now, you're thinking too much. I'm worried you might really hurt yourself. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna think for you. This way, you won't hurt yourself, and you can just keep working on getting me into the chum bucket. Thanks, Plankton. You're the best non-friend a friend could have. No more thinking for me. You fucking idiot. <laughs> Inside Sandy's tree house. Sandy, your tree dome is leaking. Them there robots busted up the glass, SpongeBob. I got a tree house chock full of robots and it's all your fault. So get in there and clean up your mess. Not really, because I'm dying of dehydration.
much better. Okey I suppose dokey. you'll be needing this more than me. Dying of dehydration. Stop your yapping and let I feel like a new sponge. I'm in the tree, damn it. What the fuck are you doing here, Patrick? Creeping like a perv? Shady Shoals Retirement Home. Wow! Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy! My heroes! Hit me with a water ball! Hit me, hit me, hit me! Yeah, we don't do that stuff anymore, kid. We're retired. Is that the TV repairman? No, it's that excited sponge kid again. Oh, uh, are you sure he can't fix the TV? Mermaid Man, twould be my greatest honor to fix your television. Somebody just clipped through the cutscene. Goody! Hey, sponge kid, you really want to help out? Oh boy, would I? Okay then, uh... But lighten up a bit on the enthusiasm, huh? Uh, you're making my bowels act up. Uh, we've got a little problem with some robots down in the Mermelair. Are you sure you're up to this task? Absolutely, Barnacle Boy! Well, go over to the couch to access the Mermelair. We'll meet you down there. Is it pudding night yet? Did I fix it? I love opening presents. Another find for Patrick. Thought it was that couch, but okay. Na 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 Batman And that's how you kill yourself. <laughs> Nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. Smells like victory. Ow! Evil! Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Ah! You shouldn't sneak up on Mermaid Man like that. His heart's not so good. Come to think of it, nothing on him is that good anymore. Sorry, Mermaid Man. It's just that I'm always so excited to see you two. Standing in your awesome presence gives me the chills of justice. See? I've got goosebumps on my goosebumps on my goosebumps on my goosebumps on my... All right, kid. Knock it off. Just tell us what you want. Well, I really want a new pair of sunglasses. Patrick sat on my old ones. That's not what I meant. <sighs> Actually, it's a good thing you showed up, young sponge of goodness. It is? It is? Yes! A bunch of evil robots have taken over the Mermelair security system! It's up to you to shut it down and stop them! Well, why him? We're perfectly capable superheroes. 
Because it's Thursday, and we have a whole bunch of doctor's appointments. Ah, fish sticks. I forgot. Go talk to the Mermelair computer in the next room. She'll tell you what to do. I accept this awesome responsibility, Mermaid Man. You won't be disappointed. Shamed, maybe, but not disappointed. To the doctor's office! Away! It's not just any sponge, it's Super Sponge! Okie dokie. Right! You've just met the Spongeinator. Cha ching! Motherfucker. Fine, I guess I'm just fucking up robots. Oh, hey, look, it's me on a hook. Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy! He's glitching up a storm. like the smell of bubbles in the morning. It smells like victory. Oh, well, let me jump into the sock. God damn it. Go long. My God, it's the invisible boat mobile. Ah, oh, I wanted to see it. <laughs> the main chamber of the Marmalayer. The Mermelair. 
Secret Fortress of the Wrinkly Superheroes, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Squidward, am I happy to see you? And not just the kind of happy you feel in the front of your knees, but the kind of happy you feel in the back of your elbow. Oh, you'll never believe what's been happening. Yeah, yeah, I've already been briefed by the geriatric duo. Those two old coots sent me in to get updated with the Mermalair computer. But since you're here now, I'll let you do it. It's right over there. Oh, look at this place. I mean, police. Would it kill them to lay down a few throw rugs? And all this wasted space? How did those two old fogies make all this? Oh, that's easy. In episode 27, the Mermelair is invaded by the digging monsters of Bermuda, and they... Never mind! Great, I need Patrick. Can you work? Okay, let's go this way. It shines! Okay. He's dead. Kaboom. Nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. Smells like victory. Can we get this into work? Jesus Christ. A lot of issues with the Marmalair. I love opening presents. I feel like a new sponge. Boy, Patrick will be glad to have this back. Yeah, I'm sure he will. Take that! Ow! Yeah, well, first I gotta do this, so... Fresh like a spring breeze! Motherfucker. You're my hero. You're yellow! When did that happen? You're my- Hey! Well, let's go to this bus stop and get shit done. I got a job for somebody who can throw things! 
Leave it to us. I'm great at throwing things. All you have to do is pick up a throw fruit and throw it into each of those funnel machines. Throw, throw the throw fruit, fruit? No, throw the throw fruit. Throw the tofu. You might want to be quick about it. I tend to explode. I mean, they tend to explode. Sure got to carry a lot of stuff around. Hey, we? I know you. You're that guy. Hmm. You're going to need a lot more power to activate the hydroacoustic Doppler modulator. Do you think you can handle this? I could see Squidward's house from up here. And he's not wearing any pants. Oh, wait, he never wears pants. Now listen up. There are eight cylinders over there. If you throw something at the cylinders, it'll turn around to the power side. Turn all eight cylinders around to the power side and I'll give you a reward. Sorry, what was that? I was watching Squidward. Just start turning those cylinders. One. I gotta do it in order. Oh, you rat fucking bastards. Oh, okay, I see what I'm doing. All but one, eh? That is not what I wanted. Oh, that one too. Hold the fuck on. God damn it. That's the one. Barnacle Man, give me all of your money. Ah, uh, well done. Now there's enough power. What do you need all that power for? Why, my foot bath, of course. Here, have a golden spatula. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. And it will slide. Uh oh, this one goes boom. So shiny. Well, let's see if we can't do anything about this thing. Okie dokie. Fuck these boulders. But with that, everybody, we ran out of time for this episode as usual. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and hopefully see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, everybody. See you later.